Good morning and good morning to you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this good morning Monday morning episode. I hope you guys are all well. What an awesome weekend I had. Obviously no football, but the weather's been great here in North London. So it's been an awesome weekend to enjoy. But look, in that time, we have signed Luka Vuskovic. Um... So, highly rated teenage defender Luka uh, Vuskovic is set to sign for Tottenham. A host of clubs uh, such as Liverpool, Chelsea, PSG, Man City have all been linked with a towering centre-back. Vuskovic broke into the hijack split first team in the spring despite only turning 16 years of age in February as he played in a role uh, in his team's co uh, Croatian tr Cup triumph. During that campaign, became Hajduk's youngest ever goal scorer just five days after his 16th birthday. Spurs have won the race to secure a signature after a breakthrough uh, in talks over the weekend, with personal terms agreed. Given his young age, Vuskovic will remain a Hajduk uh, uh, until he turns 18 to continue his development before arriving in North London. That means his move is projected to take place in the summer of 2025. The, trans the transfer fee involved in the deal is unconfirmed, but rumoured to be in the region of £12 million. Um, <laughs> you know, when I, when I saw, obviously, I wasn't aware at the beginning when it first sort of like Romano announced it. I didn't realise he was 16 years old in the moment of announcement during the weekend. It just felt like this massive sensationalism of... Of signing a you know, a starlet, Croatian star, at sixteen. You know, we know he's sixteen now, but at that time it was like we signed this player, defender from Hajduk Split, blah 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 blah. When you look into it, you're like, we're not going to have him on board till a couple of years anyway. So it makes you wonder why such like huge news, um, signing a sixteen a sixteen year old. Um, look, he's obviously full of prospect. Clearly, there was um, a lot of teams looking out for him. Um, the boys decided to join us. We'll leave him out there for the now until he turns eighteen, and we'll see. We'll see how he gets on. May his progress keep growing. May become even even better player. And hopefully, by the time he gets to us, he's ready to hit the ground. Um, you know, he's, he's ready to hit the ground running. So we, we shall see how that works out. On a different subject, go guys. Uh, a lot of people, at the first Spurs fans in particular, were upset with some of the comments that Harry Kane um, made um, of recent times. You know, the comparing the whole Bayern Munich mentality in Tottenham. Uh, let me let me just quickly read what was. Um, so so this is what Harry Kane uh, says. Um, Harry Kane says he feels a different pressure to win every game at Bayern Munich compared to at Tottenham, where not winning for a couple of matches wasn't a disaster. Um, he goes on to say, it's a different pressure to what I felt at Spurs. Of course we wanted to win things, but if you went a couple of games without winning, it wasn't a disaster. The feeling at Bayern is that you have to win every game. Uh, that's part and parcel of being at one of the biggest clubs in the world. I'm enjoying feeling those different emotions, and that's part of the reason that I wanted to go. When we get back, we start the Champions League campaign, which they expect to win. So you're going into those games with a, maybe a different feeling to what I've had in the past. But will the pressure make him an even better player? I believe it will. There's definitely a lot of pressure to take. Time will tell, but at the moment, I'm enjoying that feeling, he said. Um, yeah, it just goes on to talk about... No. <laughs> Guys, how, what... what? There's truth in what he says, undeniably, because there isn't any pressure at winning at Spurs. I can agree with everything that he says in that. It's a different type of pressure. At Bayern Munich, there's an absolute expectation to deliver season after season after season. They need to deliver a trophy, be it in Europe, be it in domestic. That's a fact. And obviously, there isn't the same sort of pressure at Spurs. We, as fans, certainly me... I've complained um, in, in, in various seasons and certainly a few of us at Tottenham away have saying, why isn't there that demand? 
Um, not obviously to win every year, of course. You can't, like, only, um, you know, it's impossible, in, especially in the Premier League, to win every year domestically, let alone in Europe. But why isn't that that same sort of mindset to, to, to at least compete? That's the part that gets me the most. The fact that we don't compete for those uh, for those honours. Um, so I agree with what Kane is saying. What I gets me though about Kane is is that mentality that you're talking about. It's like you've been part of that process. You've been part of that Spurs team that haven't aspired for however long. So if that was your mindset and that was something that you aspired to straight away, you should have put the, you should have put a transfer request time ago. You should have said, I want to get out of here, not wait as long as you have, knowing that that mentality that you seek wasn't there to begin with. Because if I'm, in a, if I'm at any club, personally, the way I am, knowing the way I am, even if it's at a club that I love, if they don't have that mentality, that's, they don't share the same mentality that I have personally within me, I'll be leaving. Even at the cost that makes me... Um, uh, uh, an unpopular or, or or perhaps not being you know, despised uh, or, or, or annoyed like a lot of fans are right like now what he said they they are annoyed with him now that should have been that should have been your mindset if that was your mindset you should have requested to leave time ago not put it up not not say it now it's easy to speak now Kane it really is easy to speak now that you're out of that situation but. For those fans, for the fans are, are, are you know are upset with it. I'm not upset with what he said because it's truth. I'm not upset about that. But he was part of that mindset. He was also one of the captains with Lloris that enabled that. Even deep down, not agreeing with it, he had, he allowed that to happen as well because that was under his watchful eye as well as one of the captains. I don't know, man. That's that's my take on it. It's my feeling. I don't know if I've maybe I've articulated it in the best way possible, but you guys get the drift. If like being part of a team that you don't share the mindset of, you have one mindset, but you go on to to be part of a team for six, seven, eight, ten years and not sharing the same views as them. And leave. Go and, go and join a, a team, a company, a workforce that has the same mindset as you. So you can you can grow and become an even better individual within that team that has the same mindset. Does that make sense? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know uh, your thoughts on on, on, uh, on Luka Vosk uh, Vuskovic that is just um, you know that's decided to join Spurs but won't be with us for another couple of years whilst he develops still at Hajduk Split sensationalist sort of articles on him must be some player we shall see time will tell and let me know your thoughts on Harry Kane are you upset with it what what what's what because it seems to me there's a lot of Spurs fans out there I've seen on social media that are really upset with what he said but then again what he said wasn't wrong it's just that other part that I've just mentioned let me know your thoughts in the comments below like comment and subscribe don't forget guys we are on tonight Monday Night Live, 8.30pm. Make sure you lock that in and I'll see you in the comments later tonight. As always, forever always, come on you Spurs. The first game we look for, Robbie. Talk them away. Talk them away. Where we got talk them away?